what's up guys hope you are doing well there and welcome to the channel seek show so this is going to be the second tutorial of qgis uh, tutorial series so in this video we will explore all of the components of qgis for data collection analysis mapping and sharing in data mostly we will talk about the browser panel so let's get started but before that please hit the red subscribe button down there and click the bell icon to get the latest video updates Let's do a quick overview of uh, what QGIS has to offer now. Let's uh, move to the browser panel. So when I first open QGIS, I like to create favorites. If you want to set your uh, favorite folder, uh, in my case, uh, data folder is my favorite folder. So I am going to set my uh, data folder as favorites. So I will navigate to my data folder, click. This is my data folder, which I am going to uh, use um, in this tutorial series. So right click and add as a favorite. Click on add as a favorite. Now it comes under the favorite section. Right. If I expand the panel, you can see CSV, raster and shape files. If I further navigate the shape file, uh, one thing I want to show you that if you want to remove this folder from favorites, right click and remove favorite. Right. If you don't see this browser panel, simply go to view and go to panel section and put a tick here or oh, remove browser. Browser will disappear if you want to get it back. View panels and browser. All right. Now I'm going to expand my shape file folder. Uh, you can see there are uh, different shape files. I will right click on a shape file called by crudes and go to layer properties. You can see the layer properties metadata, uh, preview, and attributes. If I go to metadata, you can see all the metadata which related to this particular shape file name, the location of the shape file and geometry in this case this is a line multi-line string and the crs utm zone 10 in projected and there are other things if you want to see if you go to preview without adding this shape file to the uh, shape file to your project you can see a preview this is one advantage when we compare this qgis with the arcdi software so this is the preview of this particular shape file if i go to attributes you can see the attribute folder right a street name and class right if i close this one i will open another one uh, parcel shape files right click and go to layer properties same thing metadata preview and attributes you can see the geometry is is multi-polygon and if i go to uh, preview we can get a preview of this particular parcel shape file this is a preview so mean zoom out using mouse scroll wall and the attributes in this case we can see many attributes this uh, in this shape file attributes are different from shape file to shape file right the attributes are type house number street name postal code and accuracy status and the area all right i'm going to close this one so i hope you have uh, an understanding of favorites and how to navigate your folder data folder and how to remove favorites so those are some of our metadata inside of our browser so let's uh, close up the favorites and look at the did look at the different types of data we have to connect to from outside we can connect to an open source geo package you can see open source geo package those are the packages that bundled up you can actually create those in qgis a special like database a post gis database ms sql and uh, that's actually microsoft sql server mm, and oracle that's oracle special data and uh, in fact yeah, even if you store special data in another gis uh, such as uh, isra gis you can actually connect to uh, that uh, special data directly using mysql or oracle 
connecting other database using MySQL or Oracle. You can connect to uh, DBs, DB2 as well. That means if you want to connect another GIS project to QGIS, you can use this MySQL, Oracle and DB2. Then uh, we all have open web services uh, such as uh, WMS, WMTS and uh, there are X, Y, Z tiles. This is uh, OpenStreetMap. Let's look at the layer properties here. You can see the open street map right click and go to layer properties in this case metadata and preview no uh, attributes right this is the whole world you can see it's coming from openstreetmap.org right and uh, this is the preview and i'm going to close this one and uh, we can see um, two other things WCS, WFS, OGP API features, OWS, right? And uh, these are the uh, two special uh, features, facilities, some interesting connections actually ArcGIS map server and ArcGIS feature server. That means if you get the URL of a public ArcGIS server that's hosting map services or feature services, you can connect to them and actually have them brought into your QGIS project using this ArcGIS map server and ArcGIS feature server. As well as there is open GeoNode server, you can pull the data from this genode also okay right that's all for today that's what i wanted to show you in a basic tutorial i hope you get something new i hope you learn something new please practice these things using your own qgia software if you want the exercise files please comment in the comment section and i need your ideas and i need your thoughts in the comment section and okay please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the next video tutorial notifications I will be back with another tutorial soon, till then take care and goodbye.